Well, they're sisters responsible for some of our favorite gospel songs, and after spending a little bit of time apart, Mary and Mary are back together to sing in harmony. Or are they? Take a look. <laughs> It's got to be a big legal battle. Let's make it a legal battle. You're going to lose a sister over your career. Erica, come on. Get that camera out of here. Tina's going to kill you. All hell going to break loose. I'm challenged with everything I believe. Let the games begin. Oh. That was a sneak peek of the newest season of the hit reality show Mary Mary, which premieres this Thursday on WeTV. Joining us with more on the show are Grammy Award winning singers Tina and Erica Campbell. Welcome back to Arise hey, hey, 360. Hey. Thank you. Thank, you. Always. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to be here. Yes. Well, I'm telling you, I've seen the full trailer and it looks hotter this season than it did last season. So, oh. what can we expect? Uh, um, All of that? Yeah. <laughs> hands out. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we're. we're we're trying to figure out how to have been Mary Mary our whole life and now life is evolving and we're trying to navigate that and yeah. it's, it's yeah. different. We've got 14 years of just being Mary and Mary and mm -hmm. now solo Erica Campbell was, Campbell was winning Grammys yeah. and, and I'm, I'm, I'm figuring my way as yeah. all these solo efforts are coming to me to do, which I didn't intend to do, so we're trying to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm walking through recovery from last mm -hmm. season. My husband and I are in a better place and I'm just living out my life in a better way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, um, making sure I prioritize home and family. Um, uh, busy is, is all get out with the Marys. Right. And, 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 and juggling things ourselves because we let go of our management team. We've never I done this did. entire oh. career, wow. you know, but rather than You've being with the same team up until recently. Well, no, we've been with a no, few well, different we, we, managers, yeah. but it was just if it, time if it for doesn't us. work, we're not afraid to shift. Yeah, so, oh. we shifted. so we've shifted a few times. You have to, right? Yes. Yeah. How has that experience been out there on your own? Well, oh, well. Um, it's, it's taxing. You have a different respect for people who do administration. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes, you know, contrary to popular belief, every manager isn't well suited for administrative work yeah. and if you don't have a good team putting things in order your life can feel like chaos yeah. Yeah. and so no matter how much you bring to me if you bring it to me with chaos then I just I can't deal so we had to just kind of take a step take back reassess rings. and try to just handle it on our own because we know how we like it done but in the meantime Trying to balance it all with yeah. Tina being the managers. Well, I'm not. Oh, so yeah. I'm not you've taken a step into the management I'm role. Not, not really. You know, it's just Erica's thinking we should get another manager, and I'm like, we don't. We've got we've got the proper p people in place. We've got agents. We've got lawyers. We've got PR. We've got online. We've got all of these things that are their own machines, and they're kind of in autopilot. And since we're not that busy, I'm like. We don't need a manager in here, but then yeah. it's a lot you of You can stuff handle that... some of those responsibilities. So all that well, How is that balancing it all? Because last year you came in and you told us that your life felt like it was going crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You were all over the place. Yeah. How no, are you balancing things tell. now? No, my life yeah. didn't feel like it was going crazy. It oh. was going crazy. Oh, it was going crazy. It was going okay. crazy. It was Thank going completely crazy. <laughs> um, but fortunately, yeah. I made it through that. At the end of season three, you see mm -hmm. my husband proposing to me, which was a total surprise. He came in in the middle of my interviews. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, they want to do a shared, you know, double interview to, I guess, see our, both of our perspective on trying to get through this stuff. Yeah. And he breaks out with a ring, and I'm like, that was real. I was just like, that my whole real life is happening on this show, like, in real time. And yeah. so you see yeah. that we're trying, we were trying to make it through it. And since mm -hmm. then, my husband and I renewed our vows. Wow. You see that and how that unfolds and how I didn't really plan a wedding. So and it's so, a happy so, marriage now. It is, but you're going to get to see on the show how I didn't, I forgot to plan yeah. the wedding. We, we set Ooh, a date. you and forgot I, to plan the well, wedding? Well, yeah, it was like six weeks out, and I was like, we don't have no, we didn't have no plans, so yeah. I have to, I have to <laughs> figure all of that, that out. Not up on okay, you. so you're yeah. going second time around with the same husband, the but after husband. he cheated on you the first time, how are you able to get back to trusting him again? Well, this is the thing. My husband and I, uh, we worked through it, not we mm -hmm. just got through it and chose to make it go. We worked through the process. We were in mm -hmm. counseling for countless months. Yeah. We started praying together. We started studying the wow. Bible together. We had to expose every single thing. So I did ask my husband every single detail of every single thing with every single person, every single location and everything for every single year. Ooh. And he disclosed all of that information to me. It tormented me initially, but if I was going to forgive, I wanted to know all that I had to forgive and I wanted to finally be free of it. To be and able so to move forward, it makes I, sense. Yeah, I spent yeah. a lot of time in therapy. I spent a lot of time in prayer just saying, God, I can't change what happened to me. How do I move on? And with God's help and day by day, yeah. I was able to move on. I was able to see that mm. my husband made some really horrible decisions, mm. yeah. but he's not a horrible guy. I love him, and I believe that he was better than what he did, and he's been proving to me every day for the past, you know, close to two years now that, that he means me well, and I, I trust that, and I trust what God has done, yeah. and I choose to move forward knowing that things will be better, not focusing on what was, focusing on what is. Mm. So 
I, you know, I can't live in fear and insecurity and all oh, that. I, I did that. Awesome, that drove yeah. me crazy. Yeah. I can't That's do that anymore. That's a great lesson for other people to look up to. Absolutely. Yeah. Erica, we've got to ask you, you know, the Grammy. Yes. How has the solo road been for you? What's, what's it like being out there by yourself? It is exciting do and I me? love it. I do miss you. That's why I was trying to do Mary Mary and Erica Campbell. What was happening? My voice was going, <laughs> yeah. ma'am, that's too much. Um. You can't have two <laughs> groups that are actively working and three children. Yeah. That's not going to work. So Ooh. I just um, decided to kind of throw me away. No. <laughs> How many times you tell oh, me the you don't want the about to start. <laughs> How many times? No, I, I have. What I, what has really happened is I've learned a lot about myself. Mm. Learned to stand on my own two feet. I, I, I often say my feet have been next to her feet so mm. long. I was always leaning. And so you have to, at some point, stand on your own and find out who am I? Yeah. What do I want to say? What do I have to give? What is my destiny? Mm -hmm. And it can't be wrapped up in those are the girls, the Marys. Mm -hmm. We have individual identities. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. time for us to tap into that. Not only just for me, it speaks volumes to my children and to the people around me. Having the courage to walk away from something that was is quite successful, yeah. um, to start something new, and then to be rewarded uh, because you took a chance on yourself with the Grammy and the acceptance and the music, you know, doing what yeah. it's done. It's it's a total blessing. Yeah. yeah. Now, Tina, you're about to show everyone your individual self also yes. working on a debut. Yeah, how music? about that? Yeah, I didn't intentionally plan a solo career, but while mm -hmm. I was going through this, I was kind of journaling to myself and to God to kind of confess what I wanted my life to be like because it was mm -hmm. nothing like that. I didn't know that I was writing a book. I kind of did it on accident, but afterwards, speaking to my lawyer, he was like, you know, that's a book, right? So I was like, Okay, so it's called I Need a Day to Pray, mm. and I'm going to be able to Just share that. Well, I, well, I need a couple of years, but, but at the end of the day, um, I, I, my, we were having a conversation about a business transaction, and I was like, I need a day to pray. He was like, that should be the name of your book, mm. because I did literally spend every single day praying the prayers and the confessions in that book, because everything that I was saying in the book, I was doing the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. So I was telling myself, this is what you're yeah. supposed to do. This is what God wants for you. This confessing. is better yeah. for you. I was confessing, and yeah. it helped me. Me, it helped to heal me and I also was writing music to kind of encourage myself and speak life to myself because um, life around me was so dark and dreary and sometimes music was the key and yeah. so in singing to myself and encouraging myself through music I was also writing an album that I was unaware of so I'm going to share yeah. all of this with the world it's coming May the music is entitled uh, the album is entitled it's personal and the book is entitled I need a day to pray and it's coming in May so hopefully it'll do for others what it did for me yeah. well talk to us about the show and the whole experience I mean, what made you decide to be so transparent about your life? So um, is it ever difficult? Well, we, I only know how to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I only know how to tell the truth. And I don't feel embarrassed by my life. Whatever, yeah. Whenever I'm down, because of my faith, I believe I won't stay there forever. Yeah. So if something bad happens, I don't mind sharing it because even if it's not worked out at that time, I believe that God will help me work it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're afraid and you don't think that it'll get worked out, then you say, I don't want to tell it. I, I want to... But it is what it is. People go through ups and downs all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whether I lose or I fall, it's okay. I won't stay there. Okay. You keep going forward. And so I think it serves as encouragement for people to watch, especially working moms or people of faith or people who are kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to do this faith thing or I don't know if I want to do this forgiveness thing. I don't know if I want to step out on my own. Do I want to take that chance? Do I want to, you know, do that? And so you, we don't mind showing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, okay. It, it's healing. Like, if I just imagine if I wouldn't have told anybody, and I'm thinking, what if somebody finds out? What if they find out it was Absolutely. another girl? What if they find out? What if they found out it was through all three of my last pregnancies? What mm -hmm. if I'm just scared? What if somebody? I just wanted to be free. Yeah. I just wanted to be free. So the whole trying to cover up and mask your life, and then you're hostage to your secrets. You're yeah. hostage to your celebrity. You're hostage to who you've created yourself to be. Yes. And I'm like, I can just be what I am. Accept mm -hmm. it, love it, hate it, but this is what it is. Mm -hmm. And living our life with truth, living our life with honesty, good, bad, or indifferent, you know, winning losing, you know, a great success or a horrible failure. It is what it is, Absolutely. but at least we can face who we are and deal with that. And some people, it's helping. Some people are like, wow, they're celebrities and very human and very normal, and it's encouraging to them because they sometimes watch TV, and TV is so full of pretense that they think, I'm never going to be, I can't ever be anything like that. So you see mm -hmm. people who are doing well yeah. and still have to deal with situations. So I'm grateful that our lives are able to encourage people. I'm, I'm grateful that we're able to be normal, be human, go through crazy stuff, and heal and recover in front of the world. Do that's you ever get part. the crazy fans, though? Because you know there's some crazy reality <laughs> oh, yeah. fans out there. So do you yeah. guys get that, too? I, yes. I, I do more social media than Tina. She's kind of new to it. Um, sometimes I get a little um, 
upset with people because sometimes they try to come for my sister and uh, yeah. and you. Yeah. yeah, and I, you know. And okay. I don't care nothing don't about care. nobody's That's the beauty of Tina's okay. oh, personality. You know we do care about. Everybody's personality is different. One of the things we, we care a lot about is Mary Mary. You're do, both doing your solo things. What's going to happen to Mary Mary now? <laughs> well, um, there's seven albums that people can buy. Uh, we want go, new albums. You can go to iTunes. There and we've got videos. all those. Listen, we've got seven. <laughs> there want, is hey, one show. show. Of a Mary Mary album. Yes. We want to know. At some point in time in our lives. We just don't know when because because things are different now. So. Well, you'll also see on the show that Sony wants one now. Oh. And so do we. So keep us posted and when you release it, come back on the show and until then we'll be getting your debut album, the re-release of your album, Help yes. 2.0. Yes. Your album, your book, thank you so much and we'll be able to catch the show, Mary Mary, on Wee TV, 10 p.m. on Thursday. The premiere, don't miss it. And Can't we'll wait. be right back. <laughs> Get it all in. Yes. <laughs> Did a good job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.